The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't been scientifically active for even a month yet, but it's already breaking all kinds of barriers. In a new paper still being peer-reviewed, published July 20, 2022 on Archive, a team of scientists claims that Webb has now captured the oldest galaxy we've ever seen. So, just a week after its first images were shown to the world, the James Webb Space Telescope may have found a galaxy that existed 13.5 billion years ago. What is this galaxy, and how far is it? Let's find out. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about the latest discovery made by the James Webb Space Telescope about the oldest galaxy in our universe. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The Hubble Space Telescope held the previous galaxy discovery record back in 2016. It discovered GNZ11, located in the direction of the constellation of Ursa Major whose galaxy's light was emitted 13.4 billion years previously, approximately 400 million years after the Big Bang. It also held the record for the capture of the most distant star we've ever recorded. Called Irandel, its light took 12.9 billion years to reach Hubble. But with the web becoming fully operational as of last month, astronomers are confident it will usher in a new era of discovery. There are few times in history when we humans look at nature in an entirely new way. But Webb has already begun to write the next chapter in our cosmic story with its new images. According to the latest information, James Webb Telescope has found the oldest galaxy in our universe. It is known as Glass Z13. The galaxy dates back to 300 million years before the Big Bang. It is about 100 million years earlier than anything previously identified, Rohan Naidu of the Harvard Center for Astrophysics told AFP. We are potentially looking at the most distant starlight that anyone has ever seen, he said. The more distant objects are from us, the longer it takes their light to reach us, and so to gaze back into the distant universe is to see into the deep past. Though Glass Z13 existed in the earliest era of the universe, its exact age remains unknown, as it could have formed any time within the first 300 million years. Glass Z13 was spotted in so-called early release data from the orbiting observatory's main infrared imager, called NIRCAM. But the discovery was not revealed in the first image set published by NASA last week. When translated from infrared into the visible spectrum, the galaxy appears as a blob of red, with white in its center, as part of a wider image of the distant cosmos called a deep field. Mr. Naidu and colleagues, a team totaling 25 astronomers from across the world, have submitted their findings to a scientific journal. For now, the research is posted on a preprint server, so it comes with the caveat that it has yet to be peer-reviewed but it has already set the global astronomy community abuzz. Astronomy records are crumbling already, and more are shaky, tweeted NASA's chief scientist, Thomas Zerbukin. Yes, I tend to only cheer once science results clear peer review, but this looks very promising, he added. Adding to this, Mr. Naidu set another team of astronomers led by Marco Castellano that worked on the same data has achieved similar conclusions. So that gives us confidence. Now, what is the work to be done for the future? One of the great promises of Webb is its ability to find the earliest galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, 13.8 billion years ago. Because these are so distant from Earth, by the time their light reaches us, it has been stretched by the expansion of the universe and shifted to the infrared region of the light spectrum, which Webb is equipped to detect with unprecedented clarity. Mr. Naidu and colleagues combed through this infrared data of the distant universe, searching for a telltale signature of extremely distant galaxies. According to the researchers, below a particular threshold of infrared wavelength, all photons, packets of energy are absorbed by the neutral hydrogen of the universe that lies between the object and the observer. Therefore, by using data collected through different infrared filters pointed at the same region of space, they were able to detect where these drop-offs and photons occurred, from which they inferred the presence of these most distant galaxies. 
We searched all the early data for galaxies with this very striking signature, and these were the two systems that had by far the most compelling signature, said Mr. Naidu. One of these is Glass Z13, while the other, not as ancient, is Glass Z11. There's strong evidence, but there's still work to be done, he said. In particular, the team wants to ask Webb's managers for telescope time to carry out spectroscopy, an analysis of light that reveals detailed properties to measure its precise distance. Right now, our guess for the distance is based on what we don't see. It would be great to have an answer for what we do see, said Mr. Naidu. Already, however, the team have detected surprising properties. For instance, it has been reported that the galaxy is the mass of a billion suns, which is potentially very surprising, and that is something we don't really understand, given how soon after the Big Bang it formed. Apart from this, we also came to know that this galaxy is old, the oldest yet, but paradoxically, we might also say the same galaxy is the youngest we've ever seen. Remember, light doesn't travel infinitely fast, so when we see objects from across the universe, we are looking far back in time, as they were when their light left them. So, as the light of distant galaxies travels across billions of years of space and time, the light is shifted toward the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum. The amount of redshift scientists see is symbolized by the letter Z. Before Webb, the farthest galaxies previously known in our universe were GNZ11 and HD1. As you can tell from GNZ11's name, its redshift factor, or Z, was 11. Scientists said it existed when the universe was about 400 million years old. HDI was discovered in April. However, it was the record holder for just a few months. Now it appears that Glass Z13 existed at a time some 30 million years before HD1. However, Glass Z13 isn't the only distant galaxy that astronomers are reviewing. They're also inspecting a galaxy named Glass Z11, which is also a candidate for one of the earliest galaxies we've ever seen. Both of these galaxies are tiny in contrast to the galaxies we see today, such as our home galaxy, the Milky Way. The Milky Way is about 100,000 light years in diameter. Compare that to Glass Z13 and Glass Z11, which are 1,600 and 2,300 light years across, respectively. Both galaxies have a mass of about a billion suns. That's in contrast to about 100 to 400 billion stars for our Milky Way galaxy. Scientists spotted Glass Z11 while investigating Glass Z13. The two galaxies appear in the same direction in space. The scientists don't think that finding this second, more distant galaxy was just luck, and they said in their paper, these two objects already place novel constraints on galaxy evolution in the Cosmic Dawn Epoch, the period from about 50 million years to 1 billion years after the Big Bang. They indicate that the discovery of GNZ11 was not simply a matter of good fortune, but that there is likely a population of UV luminous sources with very high star formation efficiencies. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.